The review interface allows you to see analytics about your book at a glance. This video will explain each of these and will update when new review features are added. At the top of the interface is the total word count of your story, including sections. Below this is a word count by scene, where you can see the word count of each scene in your book at a glance alongside an average line that runs through. This is great for if you have a word count target and you want to see if you're close to meeting it. Additionally, it is a great gorge for pacing. You can see if a scene is dragging compared to those around it, for example. In this version, you can see that all of my um, notes to reader sections are very short, whereas once we start getting to the pros, the scenes grow in length. Below this is character distribution by scene. This gives you an indication of how many characters are present in each scene. If there's an unusually low number, then that's a good indication either that the characters haven't been put into the codex or that you've chosen to isolate your protagonist. Generally, a scene with only one character has no conflict, and so it's worth keeping an eye on the characters present in each scene. Finally, there is the appearance heat map. This shows the mentions of codex entries throughout the story rather than appearances. So anytime a character is mentioned, they will appear as a line here. You can view these either in a timeline view for a visual representation or a cell view, which gives numerical values. The options for sorting your codex entries within this are name, so all of your codex entries by alphabetical order, type, which groups by characters, then locations, etc., etc. Then we have appearances, so those that appear the most are higher up, and it, as it decreases, it goes down. And then we have occurrence, where the first mentioned codex entry is first on here, and then as you go down, the latest mentioned entry. And then finally, we have similarity, which is the default view. This view groups related codex entries together, based on where they appear in the story. This allows you to see if there are characters only appearing in certain sections, whether a specific location comes up only once, and many more cases to check if you've forgotten something or have visited somewhere too often. Some ways that you could use the appearance heat map is tracking the prominence of characters throughout the novel, whether a codex entry is appearing enough in your story to justify its presence, if there are moments where all your characters come together, and finally, if you use multiple point of views, does the heat map justify your choices? Thank you for watching. In the next video, we're going to be looking at the sidebar.